In the latter part of the 20th century, the digital revolution swept across the globe as changes were brought about by digital computing and communication technology. The digital revolution has changed the way we communicate. It's changed the way that we uh, send data, receive data, store data. Well, in the printing and imaging community, they've been affected as well. The digital revolution touched just about everything, from digitally recorded music to media and print technologies, converting technology that was previously analog into a digital format. When we look at things the way that we communicate with uh, video streaming, blogging, texting, all these things, they're all part of the digital revolution, if you will. And that's affected the printing industry as well. So we have uh, very creative people in printing and uh, imaging that have developed innovative technologies to convert data to images. So that they've become part of that digital revolution. Mamaki, a global leader in inkjet and cutting plotter technologies, is an innovator and early adopter of leading edge technologies that revolutionize product development configurations to meet human interface engineering designs. Human interface engineering is a way to make sure that our equipment works well for the people that are using it. So we had, in the 60s and 70s, there was a big divergence between technology and the operators. And there's been a push to try to get the equipment to be easier to use for the people that are using it. A really easy explanation is the equipment we sell has to be easy to learn, easy to use, and easy to remember how to learn it. Mamaki is always known in the digital printing industry as being an early adopter of, of very interesting technologies. Uh, like I said, we're an engineering company, so we tend to build things from raw materials, from scrap. We, we tend to get metal in. We have our own paint shops. We have our own CNC engineering machines. Our components are used for a variety of models, so you have the same panel to access a certain part of the printer that matches across the board of, of over 17 different products. Mamaki, what we try to do is get all of our equipment to have exactly the same menu system so that what we do on the large flatbed printers is exactly the same thing we do on a much less expensive cutter. So we're basically looking at the end user who uses it and we're trying to make sure that the equipment itself can just produce the product that the end user requires without them having to get out a lot of manuals or put a lot of extra work into it. Today, most printing and sign shops who are adapting to digital technologies have to evolve from current analog methods to digital inkjet printers. Our core product line is, is making digital inkjet printers today and in cutting technologies for various medias used in the sign and graphic industry. And we have developed printers specifically for those industries and marketplaces to do various uh, applications various print on different substrates, different materials, different medias, because each one of those three marketplaces uh, have uh, different applications and different uses for the technology itself. Currently, Mamaki spends 7% of its total revenue on research and development for new product creation in order to keep up with this growing digital marketplace. So the reason we can be an innovator and an early adopter of fantastic leading, bleeding edge technologies is because we do spend the money to research what the next generation may be for a particular output device or a motor or uh, a paint or something to, to keep the, the, the signature down to. We, we try to have uh, parts and components that, like I said, can be recyclable, that we can use over and over again. And uh, from everything from the tubing in that printer to the motors to the gears, uh, are all part of the R&D effort to make the machine simpler to use. Commonality of parts is very high in Mimaki printers throughout our whole product line. Mimaki strives to build printer systems that utilize inkjet engines to reduce waste during cleaning processes and offer faster drying inks that have low odor properties. In our community, the drive for environmental uh, support is huge. People are very interested in sustainable options for their products. Um, and it's driven by their customer base, especially, again, the retail sector. The retail sector wants to work with vendors that have sustainable solutions that they can bring so that their products have a sustainable pedigree, if you will. Mamaki's working on LED technologies, which is a curing component that you have to dry the ink, and they're using an LED technology for a light source that uses about 50% less light than the conventional light source, and of course saves energy and again applies very favorably to a carbon footprint. One of the big things that moves towards being green, the new inks are water-based inks, 
They have no hazardous VOCs. They are able to uh, be used and to be composted, and they use less energy, and they save on waste. Plus, they also create some of the cost advantages of refillable systems. In addition to its environmental advantages, Mamaki offers the best in precision color printing performance with consistently high quality on a variety of media types and printers. Mamaki Profile Master 2 is essentially a very simplified piece of software that lets us take any type of print from any of our devices, whether that's on silk or glass or PVC, and match colors across the entire machine line. So usually we use a small device to measure what colors are being output. We take a small sample and then use that to create what we call an ICC color profile. That color profile is then used to reproduce almost any color the printer is capable of across any substrate. Basically we try to simplify the software so since we are the equipment manufacturer we already know what the ideal settings are for the equipment we're using so we built those into the software so the end user really just has to kind of follow the bouncing ball in the software and they will get the colors they need every time without having to understand all the technical details of how that takes place although in a deeper level inside the software other options are available for advanced users. Mamaki has and will continue to offer new and different products to the digital print community. It's a total effort on our whole systems. We, we, we tend to integrate all these latest technologies that are out there and, and be the first to market with it. Mamaki has always been the first to market, like with the LED printer, like with the first solvent printer for outdoor banners, uh, for our cutting technologies. We have always been on the, on the leading edge of innovation and we hope to stay there moving forward to next generation. As technology continues to advance, solutions like these are becoming an integral part of our society. For more information, visit mamakiusa.com.